Welcome back. We are here looking at the indexes. We are going to start by looking at the S&P 500. Then we're going to look at Dow Jones. And then we're going to look at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have basically filled this gap. We have the only thing that is basically in the, the way of going higher in this market is basically the, the, the top here or the all time high of 3390 or 3400 and uh, we will eventually get there we'll probably have a, a bit of a pullback on monday probably tuesday we'll probably go and retest this um, 20 exponential moving average which we have done several times in uh, recently and before we go higher uh, this market is basically um, trading in a channel at the moment which is fairly bullish so if we recap what happened on uh, last week we had monday we had quite a bullish um, candlestick on monday we had a, a big pullback on tuesday before uh, uh, increasing back on, on wednesday and then on tuesday uh, for thursday and friday sorry uh, we had these two uh, minor uh, negative candlesticks um, will probably go lower because the indicators of the MACD and also the RSI were quite overbought at this point. So it would make sense that we would have this uh, downward trajectory where we retest this uh, blue line here, which is the 20 exponential moving average before we go higher. And that'll probably take around the three, four trading days. And on Friday, we should go and go higher from here. So um, if we look at the, our, the RSI, we can see that we are quite overbought. We are 74 and 70 is basically the, uh, the line that you should be paying attention to. If we cross 70, that means that we are overbought and, and that could be an indicator that we could have a decrease in the price. Uh, we can also see the MACD. We are uh, forming, uh, uh, basically going to uh, to cross the signal line, indicating that we'll go lower. If you look at the Bollinger Band, uh, we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are getting ready to go down. And as I said, um, we probably go down to this moving average here, which is around uh, 3,300 uh, before going higher. Uh, the same goes for the stochastic. Um, technically, it indicated that we're going upwards. I, I would not pay that much attention to this because it would, in my um, analysis, I would expect us to go and retest this. 20 moving average, uh, exponential moving average before going higher. Uh, so this is not a market that you should be buying at the moment. You should technically wait until we have this pullback in order to find value and then then buy the dips. That has been working for uh, several uh, weeks and months uh, recently. And that is what I will technically be continue doing. So... As I said, we are now trading in a channel and uh, it does not, technically doesn't look like we are going to go down anytime soon. If we were to go down, then uh, 3,300 would be uh, uh, a good place to, to buy around this area. Uh, next, it would be around this area, which is roughly uh, 3,232. And after that, there is uh, quite a large jump to all the way to 3,000. Um, yes, I don't expect us to go down to 3,000 anytime soon. This is a market that will continue uh, in uh, in its bullish run, and the reason for that is the Federal Reserve. If we were to look at the uh, world economy, then we will probably uh, be selling at the moment because it's not doing very well. Um, unemployment in the United States is still really high, and other indicators showing that the United States economy 
will be in, in, a, in a tough spot for several months, probably also years to come. But this is all about liquidity. And as long as the Federal Reserve is pumping the liquidity, cheap uh, money into the market, and basically bailing out every single company in the, in the stock market, then this market will just go higher. So when we test, retest this um, 20 expansion week average, we will go uh, higher and then we'll test this high of 3,400. And after that, we'll go looking for 3,500 and continue upwards. So if you look at the Dow Jones, So the Dow Jones, compared to the other two indexes, has not been as bullish. Um, we basically created a double top um, here. Sorry. And, and another one here. And this is not a very good sign. Uh, so we have significant resistance in this area of uh, um, uh, 28,000 and it will eventually go higher. Um, it just seems that we are much gradually, um, it will take a longer time before the Dow Jones um, gets to the all time high compared to the, to the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. Uh, also, I expect a pullback to the um, 20 exponential moving average, probably also the 50 moving average before we go higher from here. And the reason for that is that we can see that this indicator here is significantly overbought and it's basically making this, uh, making a sign that it will go down from here and will probably go all the way down to uh, 50 before we go higher. Um, the same goes for the MACD. It is basically indicating that we are going to cross the signal line before we go higher. Uh, also the Bollinger Band, we are at the top of the Bollinger Band, or actually going down from the top of the Bollinger Band. And the same goes for the Stochastic, we have crossed this signal line indicating that we will go uh, down from here. And um, a double top like this, it is a very, um, it is a very bearish signal. Um, I expected to go higher from here, but when I saw the turn on the Wednesday that we were were struggling to go through uh, this area here, and we haven't even filled this gap, um, and then we also have the highs uh, back for uh, in February. This will probably take a few more weeks, um, and but this, we are still in a in a in a in a bullish run. Uh, I, I'm not going to short this market. I'm just going to wait until we go down to the 50 moving average in order to find value and then basically start buying. So we have a um, uh, resistant area here around uh, uh, 27,000. And then we have another uh, support that will add to 20, no, at 26,000. 27,000, sorry, and 26,000. So I don't expect us to go lower than that. Um, this is a good buying opportunity. This is also a fantastic buying opportunity before we continue uh, upwards. So next is the NASDAQ. And of course, the NASDAQ does what the NASDAQ does. Um, we are in a channel and we are just continue, continuing grinding much higher. And we'll probably do that for the foreseeable future. Um, the five biggest companies in the NASDAQs, uh, NASDAQ, the Google, um, uh, Netflix, uh, Amazon, uh, Apple and so on, are doing fantastic at the moment. Um, and... As long as that is the case, this market will just go higher. Um, those companies are not in financial uh, trouble at, at all. 
and they're just doing better and better because uh, people are buying more online. And um, technically, the the Corona crisis was not um, a significant blow to those companies. It was, on the contrary, uh, was actually benefited those companies. So, um, yes, at this point, the Nasdaq is trading within this channel and and every single time we even get close to this support channel, uh, support line here the nasdaq bounces so that is that is basically what you're supposed to do in this case getting close to this channel this uh, line here just buy there is so much uh, support underneath as well we have the 20 expansion moving average we have the 50 moving average and this market is not going to break the 50 moving average anytime soon. As long as the Fed is basically pumping money into this market and because of uh, of the companies within this index uh, are doing extremely well, um, this market will just go gradually higher. However, at this point, um, I do expect us to, to uh, retest this uh, support line before going higher. We can see that on the RSI. We're not overbought, but it is indicating that we'll go lower. So what has not been happening the last several months is basically that we have been uh, building, we have been uh, touching this support line and then just bouncing. And then we have been uh, touching this resistant line and then bouncing again. So this is not a market that you should short. You should just wait until the price drops down to close to this uh, um, to this support line and then just technically buy. Um, so the Bollinger Band is also indicating that we are going downwards and uh, the, the Stochastic is indicating that we're going upwards. Um, maybe you maybe start a Monday session a little bit higher, but I do expect us to go lower before we go higher from here. Um, there is um, there is a sign that we may in the next few weeks go uh, and trade sideways in, in this market. And the reason why I say that is because it looks like we had the big bullish run in this market was basically in this area here. But in the last few weeks, we it looks like we are basically creating... Um, box like this so there are two scenarios uh, scenario one is that we just continue in this um, in this channel or scenario two is that we will start trading sideways it may well be that this market got ahead of itself and before we go much higher from here uh, we may go trading sideways and what what was what that will look like, we'll probably go to one or one chart here, is that we'll see something similar to this. We'll see uh, this being the, the top of the market, and then we'll just continue sideways before going higher. Um, that may well happen. Um, I would not be surprised if that uh, were to happen because this market has been so bullish uh, since the um since um uh, so basically when we bottom at the uh, at this market in the coronavirus um that may well be the case because uh, but safe bet will, will basically be that we will continue in this channel uh, other alternative is that we will continue we will basically go into this uh, sideways movement um uh, before going higher. Uh, if we were to go sideways, we should break this trend line here. We should basically go all the way down to the uh, 50 moving average uh, before um, seeing something like that. Probably um, just something to, uh, to, uh, to be focused on. Um, so, but at this point, 
probably the best bet is basically just wait until you get to the support uh, of this uh, resistant uh, support line and before technically going higher. That has been working in the, uh, the last few months and it will probably be working the next uh, few weeks, maybe. So I hope you find this video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the support button. And, um, and yeah, good luck and happy trading. Thank you very much.